Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be Tips for Car Guys Part 4. You guys liked the Tips for Car Guys series 1, 2 and 3. So I have a few more. I may even have a few more for uh, number 5. But for now, this is Tips for Car Guys Part 4. Hopefully you enjoy this one guys. So for this first tip, I'm going to show you guys how to improve your driving if you don't already use this tip. Um, by no way am I an expert driver in GTA. I'm not really the best of drivers. But this is just how to improve your driving if you've not used it. So, so let's start off here. Normally when we drive, we just, you know, drive with the left analog stick and acceleration and brake, you know, the normal. But what we want to do in this case, this tip here, is use the right analog stick so use the camera angle so what I do is I always put my camera angle a bit up so that when I see when I see cars I can see how far away I am from them or you know I can see a better because it's always better to get like a more bird's eye view of the case and also when I turn left or right if I turn right I will turn my analog right and I'll show you why I do that because if you're turning from here, so if you're turning from here, or let me give you a better case scenario actually. So if I'm turning from here, my obstruction of view to the road on the left, so if I'm turning left, my obstruction of the view is sort of lot, so I can't see left. So when I'm driving, you know, there could be a car coming and I could hit it. But if I do that same corner with the analog stick looking left, then I can see everything on that corner. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like when I'm actually racing. Again, it will take a bit of time to get used to, but you know your driving skill would like increase dramatically using this. Again, that's not really guaranteed. It might not help you as much as it helps other people. So. Yeah, hopefully you like that tip. Yeah, so hopefully this tip is helpful. And, you know, if you've uh, not used it before, try it out. So I don't know how much this is going to really help people in, in GTA. I think, you know, you could use this to block off roads for drag races and stuff. But I'm just going to show you guys how to block off roads consistently. Like, you don't need a massive truck to block off a road. Um, all you need is a police car. So, as you see now, this car's just passing the police car. They don't really care that there's a police car in the way. Pedestrians really don't care. They're just passing it. And we'll just let him pass. So, all I'm going to do is just turn the lights on. So... Turn the police car lights on and get out. And now, the pedestrians are going to stop. So pedestrians stop moving once you once you turn them on. And just to show you that this, it's not a fluke or anything. I'll, I'll go and do it again. So you don't even, you don't even need two police cars. All you need is one police car. You don't need a massive truck. You don't need nothing. You just need one police car. And then if you want like. To have a drag strip, you can get your friend to get another police car and put it on the other side of the road. So there you go. Police cars stop traffic. So for this tip guys, I'm going to show you how to get cars in the back of a truck. So for this one, you're going to have to be in Polito Bay. So Polito Bay next to Beaker's Garage. The Ellis Customs in Polito Bay. You want to make sure you go there and then you look for the big goods truck. It will only work with the big goods truck. It just says big goods across the side. Um, it has to be the trailer one. So there's a big goods truck that's attached to the cabin. And there's a big trucks, good trucks with a separate uh, trailer. So when you get that trailer, you want to do what I'm doing in the video. You want to shoot the back with an AK. So... Just shoot the back with an AK or any uh, uh, automatic weapon. Uh, be careful because it does blow up easily. Uh, once you hey, see it come open, you can just 
Go in the driver's seat and drive forward and then you should see the back open up. Now I must say that you can't actually drive the vehicles with them in the back on next gen. So on PS4, on um, Xbox One you can't do that but on PS3 I think you can actually close the back and drive them with the car. But this is really nice for like pictures or you know a little uh, role plays. So what you want to do is just make sure it's open, drive your car inside and then you can try and close it. I attempted this twice but I couldn't close the back. You can try and close it with a bulldozer. So what I was getting, it, it would go all the way to the top but it wouldn't actually close the back. It's really cool to do with your friends and yeah that trailer and that trailer could be really fun as well because we were messing about with it with the insurgent and the trailer glitches out if you drive the um, bulldozer inside it or drive an apocalypse vehicle inside it it just starts glitching out and it's just really fun so that's it guys that's how you open the trailer in and get your cars inside basically so for this tip guys I'm just going to show you how to speed up your car you know you can use this for um, stuff like the top speed challenge and this just speeds up your car it's not the most efficient way um, it's different to every other way uh, I've shown you guys in the other tips videos and yeah it looks a bit ugly but it works so I'm just gonna test out what the top speed is right now on this comment just before I start teaching you guys how to do it So we're in final gear now and 110, 115 just to be generous we'll give it. So all you want to do is make sure you do not have bulletproof tires. So you can't have bulletproof tires for this. The reason is because it's going to lower when we start damaging it. Yes I said damaging it. <laughs> it's going to lower when we start damaging it. It has to be a rear wheel drive car. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I know it only works with a, a, a handful of cars and you ha and they're all rear wheel drive. So make sure you got a rear wheel drive, high powered. Um, if it doesn't work, try it on another car. It definitely works with a Comet, I've tried it a lot. And all you want to do is damage the back here. So make sure the Comet's damaged at the back. I'm going to I'm gonna try it like this and then I'm also, gonna, also going to... Um, damage it using uh, a prop so I'm just going to crash into something so that took me a lot longer than it should have just probably because I went to repair my car again but uh, I've damaged my car by hitting the um, these poles here so I just literally drove really fast drifted and hit them so made sure the contact came between the pole and my car. We're going to see what uh, speed the car does with this glitch. I'm going to go in first person so you can see the speed. And then you can see that rumble happens. That rumble, don't ask me what it is, it's just part of the glitch. So obviously I'm doing a lot faster now. 160, 180, no, 160. But, I've actually been past 200 before, so so hopefully you enjoy this tip. So for this tip, I'm going to show you guys how to get a FIB Buffalo. So what you want to do is be in a CEO, first of all. Make sure you're in a CEO. And then when you go on CEO, you want to go on VIP work. On VIP work, you just go on hostile takeover. And now you want to make sure you make it LSIA, so it can't be any other, it has to be LSIA, so Los Santos International Airport. Once you've got it, just start the mission. Now head over to the airport.
Now, once you're at the airport, briefcase is near the in in one of the hangars, so they do have heavy uh, machinery. So you want to make sure that you don't die. I mean, it doesn't matter if you die and respawn, but you know you want to get this first try. Once you, once you've killed everyone, all you're gonna do is get the. Oh, okay. I've not killed everyone. It doesn't matter if you damage the FIB buffalo. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it in a bit. So, get the FIB buffalo and just take it to the drop off. So, drive to the drop off. You can do this in any vehicle. So you can get in the cargo bomb and pick up this FIB. Buffalo and fly it to there if you want, but for this video, I'm just going to drive it to there. So now that you're here at the drop off, you're just going to drop it off, and all the cops are going to go. So as soon as you drop it off, all the cops are gone, and now you know that you've, uh, well, you've got a half a buffalo. So now what you're going to want to do is find um, the nearest marker and what I mean by that is the nearest land race or um, so right now it's not showing up on the map so the nearest land race is or mission or air race anyone that's blue basically is here so I'm just going to show you if you haven't got it on the map it's probably because your um, it's hidden on your mini map so to get them back up all you got to do is go in hide options jobs and you can just go on custom and make sure they're all shown so make sure they're all on show there you go all you got to do now is park half in the circle like that so half in the circle half out the circle and then just walk into the land race press right to enter Now once you've entered, just back out. And now you're gonna realize your buffalo's gone, but there's no need to worry. Your buffalo is gonna appear. So it'll be random sometimes. It'll, sometimes it'll be in unexpected places, but it will show up. There we go. There's a buffalo. Now you've got the FIB buffalo. A clean FIB buffalo and every time you damage it you can just fix it like that so that's it for this tip that's how to get the FIB buffalo thank you so much for watching guys I honestly thank you um, you guys are helping me do this full time if you guys want to help me even further as a creator I do have a patreon obviously you don't have to pledge if you just have a look at it I would really appreciate it and thank you for watching once again see you in the next one